all to hop mission. Ants ass and Peabody were going down the street. Ants ass said, no one. Peabody said, uh, actually, um, that was a horrible rendition of what they would actually sound like. And this entry is getting a bit awkward, so I'm going to pass it on to my boy, Ben Levid. Right, as you know, it was our plan to get children. And off we go. I'm right here to stay where I want to stay. I'll be right in my car. Never mind. I don't suppose that's very legal. Maybe it's a better idea if we steal everyone's goldfish instead. The. Yes. The. Well. Yeah, that's right. I know you can. Yeah. And then we start the stealing. And by we, I mean me. The Michael Rosen was Rosen, so it's rush rush down the neighborhood, walk into the front door, past the living room, and there it was, big and shining, the fish tank with all kinds of goldfishes. So now I began to catch the goldfish with my hands, kaboom, 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 and I put them very carefully in the plastic bag, after which I go to the next house over to steal more goldfish, kaboom, 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 for hours. In the end, I got a total of 231 goldfish and 15 raisins. Wonderful. Wait, how did the raisins get in the bag? Well, that was 24 hours I'm never getting back. Do we have any other plans before we get arrested for attempted kidnapping and robbery? Okay, we got the next. You probably thought I was dead. Anyway, as for our future plans, I've decided I wouldn't wait for anyone to tell me what to do. Why? I don't know. Uh, the key right now is to escape to China. Oh, that wasn't very bad. George, George said sus. He was going to inspect her, you know, once. I just, I just, I just, I gave my mum and dad all kinds of crisps. You, I read in a book that the red giraffe is blue. Gorillas is overrated. <laughs> um, said no one ever. Right, now that I was in China, I've decided to let us sit later, take over. Okay, plate. Hmm. Now, you're probably wondering where the climax of the story is. I was just about to answer that question when suddenly a bunch of cops came out of nowhere. Blimey. One guy shouts with a megaphone phone at me. Stop right there. Put your hands in there and stay there. It was then I remembered I still had the goldfish and the kids with me. Oh no, whoa, that was the mistake. So I decided to obey the office first order. <laughs> Mr. Rosen, you're under arrest. Yes, I had hoped it wouldn't be necessary for me to tell you you can go back to prison. <laughs> <laughs> ha! No, you And this officer just fell over and died. <laughs> Snores. Yeah, these other cops screamed. <laughs> ran away really fast, like little babies. <laughs> well, I suppose that concludes our adventure for today. So let's see how I did, shall we? Hmm. Look, right, that's it. Hot jelly tastes really funny when I stick rats into my nose. Give me 232 brains before the sky starts murdering all sandwiches in Harry 51. He mm. 
I was starving. All I had for breakfast was cooking oil. You're a healthy eater. Oh no, this is horrible. Do we run around screaming? Yes. <laughs> Just before they went out, they said, right, Mick, you go to bed before we go out. And <laughs> I'll finish, I'll finish, I'll, I'll, I'll finish it, he says. Get out of the way. Breathing in pizza. Breathing in pizza. Catch that ha His mum don't live with his dad. What a drink. <laughs> I robbed a bank with my snatch. <laughs> hey, hey, little hat. Catch it, said Lenny Boy. I'm really hot, but it's not my hot, but it's not my hot, but it's not my hot. Do you want a right round and ring? Cool guy, met fool guy. Yeah, yeah, I bet you can't. <laughs> Blob by Blob. <laughs> <laughs> it was huffy, I was in love, I had to get to. Into my mouth. Into my mouth. Oh, it was lovely. I was drinking. So I said, Toenails. It is 9.30. Go to bed. In a weedy little voice, I say, Go to sleep. What's it got to do with sliding on the floor of the science museum? Queen Juliana is a fat banana. <laughs> and George didn't say He anything. turns to us and he goes, Suddenly, the going in bell went. <laughs> I want hundreds and hundreds of Michael Rosen. Right. When there's complete quiet, it goes. And perhaps you could put your your bookish mathematics in. And perhaps you could put your your bookish mathematics in. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. I'll tell tell. Once a boy called Richard came to school and said, "That's my ear." I lock it. I unlock it. I lock it. I try to unlock it. The car trip. Mum says, "You were asleep, weren't you?" I don't think it's funny. My dad had huge jugs. My mouth is full of oil. It was lovely. I want to die. Here goes. Don't say don't. And it was ice cream. I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I'll get the sugar thing if you want, okay? Yeah? <laughs> chocolate, chocolate, strawberry, and ice cream. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Do you want milk in your penis? <laughs> in the mouth, please. Ha! I'm gay. <laughs> Stopped, have you? <laughs> Louise, it isn't absolutely necessary for your watch to play a sucker blood just now, is it? Yes! Sucker, sucker, blood, sucker, sucker, sucker. Hamburger Rush Par shouting. Sucker, sucker, blood, sucker, 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 blood, sucker, 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 sucker. Eat. Claire said, I live with my auntie. Ah! Ah! Is self in a boat on a river with tangerine trees and marmalade. Ah! Shut up, stinks! Can you hear me? That was a fucking awful joke. You may think it's really bad, feeling worse than bad. Such a sad, sad, sus. At school, my friend Harry Bo liked to duel in the toilet. <coughs> Trans rights. 
I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. All right. Time to make my eyes go dim. The only trouble was, I can't see at all. Nothing. So sad. I try and I try and I get my eyes to work. Fiddle diddle diddle riddle diddle diddle riddle fiddle diddle diddle dinner. For two hours I'm at it with your mum. It's tea time and we're sitting on the floor of the teeth museum. Precisely nice. And my dad wants milk in his tea. And my dad's hand darted across the table. <laughs> I mean the floor. My damn diddy dad started getting furious because he couldn't reach the milk. It was there. <laughs> Hi everybody. There is a green wall now. This looks like a job for me. So everybody, just follow me on Twitter. S the Manhattan Project. Uh, actually, let's pretend that didn't happen. Okay. Damn, that's what a BBC with an M with an I with a K with an E. Teachers sometimes ask me, whoa, 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 what's the best way to get a great big cock in your butt? Well, one of the ways I answer is to suggest that you suck the shit out of that long like this. <laughs> also, don't spit, swallow. Twelve. <laughs> ten out of ten. If you see me staring at a white wall, <laughs> snorty eight plums in my bag. Mm -hmm. And then we died. So Saturday morning and I get a bit dope. Don't, don't, don't be cheesy peasy lemon squeezy pizza with the melting cheesy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, frying the cat. Mm -hmm. And now I got the taste of it in my mouth and I can't stop myself so I go. And I got all these slashes. In the morning I get up and I go downstairs and I go upstairs and I go to sleep. I broke the fourth wall again. And so I stop. Baby sphincter. Nope. Sitter. Hot rain. Krishna. Bitches. So, so, so. Sometimes my mum and dad used to go sliding on the floor of the science museum. <coughs> Little shush shiny butt. <coughs> Conversations with the conversation. Do you want an apple? Why the fuck would you ask me if I want something to eat when you know damn well I can't digest food? Says who? <laughs> Sorry, uh, can you hear me? I say yeah. no. I'm now flicking the flick at the fluff on the water, mouth staring, tail open, cock stiff, dead in my arms. Sad music. It wasn't one I was always hearing. I ate a bag of pee. I just wouldn't go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Went on We're all crowding round, dead in my tantrums. All I'm asking you to do is to eat one bomb that's full of tea and tea, and it's nice. No. desk lid and off we go wake up wake up ah what's the matter dad it's your brother you see that bloke over there him brian he's been playing see this go for 24 hours yeah look uh brian um Brian, um, I, uh, you can't play games all the time. Look, right, that's it. Why don't we go on a trip with my friend Harry Bo? Uh, what did you say? I said, let's go on a trip. I like that. But first, could you take off that dirty sweater? All right. Why did you put on one that looks like this? Wonderful. What are you doing here, Nick? Have you got any plans this weekend? No. Want to go on a trip with me and Ryan? Hmm. I like that idea. So, of course, where will we go on a trip? Oh, North Korea. Out! 
Well, actually, we're going to Jamaica. All right, let me get my stuff. You're ready? Wait, let me tell my dad about our trip. Hey, Dad! I'm gonna go on a trip to Jamaica with Michael and Ryan. Okay. Thank you, Dad. Bye. Ready? Now. <laughs> Is that you, Michael? Yes. When does this car here? What's that? It's me, Harry Boat. Now, let's go to Jamaica. Okay. Not long after. Right, you two. This is a great big airport. I'm going to get the tickets. You two, stay there. Hi, Mick. Three tickets to Jamaica, please. Yes. Can I have a drink? No. All right. Here's the tickets. Let's go inside. Hey, three. Where did everyone go? Maybe he went to the gate. We are now taking off for Jamaica. This is a roughly 15-hour flight, so strap in, snacks and drinks will be out very soon. Oh no! Where are Brian and Harry Boat? Hey sir, have you seen two identical looking men? One with an orange shirt, the other with a green shirt and hat. Sorry. So this plane is going to Jamaica, correct? No. It's going to Orlando. Oh, 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 no. The moment I dread when I get on the wrong plane. I should probably sit down to eat somewhere. I see the bump. Do you want something to eat? Um, uh, um, wonderful. Can I have some crisps? Of course. Ha! <laughs> One bag of crisps. Get off me! That wasn't very nice. Might as well have some fun while I'm here. Hello! Can I have a ticket? I'm okay. That's $150. Um, look, 
<laughs> yeah, look, look, look. Catch him. <laughs> I ended up in the wrong country because I lost my hat. Now, what to do here? Nice. Super potatoes. I know they sell called video game stuff. <laughs> I think it's about time to eat somewhere. The whole seems good. I want to try them squid and burger. Look at that. A squid and burger, please. Burger. Time. Ah! It looks like it's time to eat. Into the mouth. Nice. I hope Mike and Brian are okay. Shadow. Yeah, okay. Whoa. I don't like it very much. Walnut in its shell. Is that you, Michael? Michael, I know you're there. Who are you? Michael, it's time to stop breathing. Schwan and Shedder kill it. Michael Rosen got it. Oh Heal no! Over and die. Pew. Ah! Scram, Schwan, Michael Rosen, you're gonna die. Yeah, yeah, I bet you can't. <laughs> Harry Bo, what's the matter? It's hurting. I've got to join my granddad. Harry Bo. Wake up. Harry Bo. You're going to regret that. Where's the big man? Come with me. Say goodbye, you piece of rubbish. Well, shit. What was that, Mike? Well, um, the hypnotizer, right? Yes. I won't let you spoil my plans. And I won't let you for your Benjamin Keel and all of my friends. What? Harry Boat and the man are gone. Well, I should probably tell Brian about this. <coughs> I saw the guy holding Harry Bo going towards the exit. I think he'll be okay with that guy for now. Let's try to find the first aid kit or whatever to say Harry Bo, okay. Yeah, 
yes, the first aid kit. Don't worry, Harry Potter, you're not dead yet. Ah! Hey! Have you found something that can help Harry Bo? Well, my... Nice. Good job, Mr. Rosen. Now kill Brian. What? Brian disappeared. Where did Brian go? <laughs> Why did my brother try to kill me? He's been eaten at Tarzan. Your friend's outside. Go out and protect him while I hold these two off and fix your brother. Okay. Let's do this. Oh. Whoa. Bendy, bendy, bendy. Nice. <laughs> what button was pressed? What's up? Quick, get out! I hope this works. <laughs> you saved me. That's right, Harry Boat. Thank you for your life. Now, how about we go back to the UK and sell a ray? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Right, would you like to hear a good story that I've been told to relate to you lot? Once, when I was taking some money out of the bank, a boy called Sue to be Richard and his little gang wore tin cans or off shotguns. They were made of glass, except for the bullets. Could be trouble. So this boy, Richard, yelled out, This is a robbery. Nobody moved. So everybody, in a panicky mood, tried their absolute best to stand still so they wouldn't get shot. Everyone get down on the ground right now, said one of Richard's gang mates. Richard went to the counter with his gun, pointing towards the teller. He starts up, talking in a menacing voice. So you're a teller then? Well, tell me if you're going to hand over the 15 grand quietly, or not. The woman opposite started to tremble as she filled up his bag with wads of money. And then suddenly, out the corner of my eye, I noticed the person at the front of another queue trying to run away. He got to the door, but Richard turned round and fired in his direction. What he had forgotten was that his gun was made of glass. So when he shot it, it smashed, covering him in hundreds and hundreds of shards. He tries to pretend he's in tip-top shape. It's no good, he can't. He's bleeding like a stuck pig. It's hurting, he yelled. Just then he noticed the man had run out the door, unhurt. Richard said, shoot, he's gone. At that, his gang mates fired their guns in random directions, covering them in shards too. I didn't mean that kind of shoot, so I start laughing. Richard darted towards me and said, do you think that's funny? Well, just you wait till you hear what the boss has to say. So I said, who is the boss? And Richard said, oh yes, of course, we haven't introduced you to him yet. And he picked up this particularly pointy piece of broken glass off the floor and held it very carefully next to my right eye. He said, if you don't do exactly as I say, when I say it, I'm going to leave you completely blind. Do you understand? So I said, okay. Yeah, okay. Suddenly he looked awfully pleased. And he said, Well, that's easier than my last robbery, I'll tell you. <laughs> I mean, follow me outside into an Audi with no noise at all, please. No need to have a riot. So now I get a flash of genius. And I asked, I'm dying for a way. Can I go to the toilet? I said, it's hurting. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. What's the matter? Said Richard in front. He wants a wee, said one of his gang mates. 
Anyway, then he said, yes, so one of his boys took me upstairs, right up close to the bank loose, and stood by the door to make sure that I didn't try any funny stuff. I went in and bolted the door behind me. Guess what I did? Next. Mm. I took the chance, climbed out the window and out onto the roof. Trouble was, my foot got stuck when a gust of wind shut the window really hard and fast and it banged against the wall really loud. So if he's not there, he's going to really do for me. So now he tries. I'm going to see what the noise was. Meanwhile, I tried and I tried to free my foot. It's no good. I can't. The window just wouldn't budge. The door opened. Well, 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 look what we have here, an SKP. Let's get him, boys. So Richard took the shard out of his pocket and he put it right up close to my foot. One of his gang mates took off my shoe and sock while holding my foot to make sure that it stayed still just in case the window did open. Richard then proceeds to shove the piece of glass really hard and fast into my foot. Sla <laughs> Got it. I at the lot. <laughs> Got the new Jordans, and if there's one thing I love, it's a shoe smart and smooth that warms your toes up, that does. My grand gave me a red shoehorn. Wonderful. Who could be so lucky? Yeah, I like shh rabbit tit. Is that you, Michael? Yeah. Right, Mick, you go to bed. It's nine. Okay, Mum, okay. Kaboom. Stupid furry. So I start to sulk. I make my mum cry by squashing my brand new trainers with a little paper and mache shoehorn. Nice. I mean shoehorn. So I swear the free hard my shoes. Anyway, my mum says, will you go to bed? I rushed over to the bed, doing my damn best to not wet myself. myself because I couldn't find my trainers for Christ's sake. Slap. I think it's really bad news. I don't know where to find my shoes. Who took my shoe? The ones without laces. I'm not a fool. Wow. Out the bed, down the stairs, into my brother's room, where I can see my mum. False brain. Fiddle, riddle, diddle, diddle. Ha! Found his drugs. Mm. Oh no! Will you go to bed? Right, where is my foot? Where, bitch? Oh, you've gone all quiet. She said. Yeah. A piece of paper. What is it? Oh no! Ooh, the moment I dread when tomato and bread. Well, actually, when my mum's dead. Uh -huh. So I says to Brian, I says, Right, you're gonna help me get my shoes back. To which he replied, No way. So I said, Come on, Brian. So he goes, Okay. So he helped himself to a jam roly poly and he took out his cock. Well, actually, his shoes. And I noticed they were mine. Greedy little prick. Tell him off, mum. Tell him off. <laughs> Never mind. You're dead. <laughs> then. Suddenly, he stuffs me inside my bop it. So now, I push it, pull it, bop it. Ah, will you die? Mum and Dad always gave you trainers, but I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'll come off it. Brian, I gave you the car, the house, and the telly. I want your money. You can't. You already have everything. Even my shoe. Please. Greedy little pig. It's not fair. You have already have eaten my plums. Where's Michael Rosen? Oh, Torch him! Right. How about this? A shoe swap is a deal where you swap trainers for money. I'll give you 40 quid for my shoes back. My brother said, okay, it's a deal. And he gave me a box with a lid. And then he left. And I thought, what's, what's in it? it? Beans. That really pisses me off. And I ran down the street shouting, I'm the f actually, I'm the quickest in the world. So I said, hey, little bitch. And my brother turned to me and said, hard luck, brother. You'll die before you catch meat. <laughs> I mean, me. Look, give me my shoe times two. No. Right. So once more from the beginning. <sighs> Got it. Oh, no. <laughs> Finger in, lick it. Tastes nice. There it was. Yes! Yes! Buddy. The busker. I was walking down the street when suddenly I see the man. I think I'll make his day, so I peeled off the wallet off my pocket so I can get some money. But what I didn't realise was my girlfriend Hannah was using my cash to get the newspaper, a street sign, juice, cakes and some, um, 
toothpaste all chewy and minty. Mm. Anyway, after a few seconds, the busker saw me standing there with my hands in my pockets looking like a soggy cake. The busker said, Do you know, I'm feeling rather disappointed because you seem to want to give me money but you don't look like you have any then there was an awful yelling and crying there was the noise of machines roaring and hot air rushing down the street it was then i noticed the source of the noise oh and it was the busker playing music really badly <laughs> sorry i can't stop laughing oh no and that's when the busker goes from being cheery to throwing his guitar towards my big face so i peeled off the payphone off the wall and i shove it up his nose then he starts throwing rocks towards me but it missed and fell in front of me a woman tripped over and died and then I scooped the rocks into my mouth and hmm, spat some into his face. So he pulls the payphone out of his nose. Then he turns it into an absolutely furious murderer and mad killer robot with big shining eyes. Suddenly he looks pleased. I think I'll make my wallet into a terrifying hand puppet. Ha! It was really good. It was then I noticed the woman on the ground. She wasn't dead. At that, she sees my hand puppet, she stops. Suddenly, she looks like she had never seen anything quite so horrifying in all the world. What does she do? She starts chanting. <laughs> At that, another hand puppet appeared. Except it wasn't a puppet, it was vanilla ice cream. Suddenly, I'm asking for his autograph, but he tries to pretend he knows what's going on, so he looks round. What does he see? Suddenly, the robot kicks him in the testicles like cracking an egg. The busker starts walking towards the robot. He gets inside. He presses the silver button. The machine's arms turn into spinning blades. I put my face behind the puppet, hoping Vanilla Ice will get it to terrify the others. He starts screaming and runs into the woman. They were both chopped into vanilla ice cream. So now it's just me and the busker. He stops. Suddenly he lunges at me. So I peeled off the blade and attach it to my knuckle. So there I was licking it so it sticks. So I ran towards the robot and I instantly died. I never did give him any money.